Welcome to my coding course to build a self-order kiosk like McDonald. In this course, you will learn the essential tools and skills to create a web application for self-order kiosk using React, Context API, and Material UI in front-end, and Node and MongoDB in backend. My name is Basir, and I'll be your instructor in this course. By the end of this course, you will build a fully functional web application to launch a self-order kiosk like this. Here you will have the home page, and when you touch the screen, you will be redirected to select order type. You can select eating or takeout. Let's select eating. And when you go to the main menu, you will have a list of foods here. And there is a category here. You can select, let's say, beverages. You can select breakfast or burgers. When you click or touch food, you will have model like this. And you can select number of items from this food and add it to the order. At the end of order page, you will have the type of order, tax, total price, and items. Let's add another one, select a beverage Coca-Cola, and you know by default it's like the one that you selected earlier. You can add it to the cart, it gets update, and you can add more stuff like this. When you click on done, you will be redirected to the review screen and you can update data here. Let's make it two, make this one two. As you see, it gets updated. And when you press it to check out, select payment screen shows up. You can select pay here and you will have a screen like this. And if you have a pin pad enable device, you can connect it to it and you know enable pin pad payment. When you click on complete order, we will be redirected to the end page. It says thank you and here you will have your order number can print it and give it to the you know customer to have it and we have two other pages here we have queue let's see what happens you know five here is in the in progress and also you will have admin page let's change order number five to ready as you see the state gets ready and if you check this screen you will have order number five in the now serving section. So customer can go to counter and get order. Also, you as an admin can set an order as a delivered. When you click on deliver, the order will be removed from the list of orders and also from the screen in the restaurant. Okay. That's all we want to build together and what we want to learn and use in this project. First of all is Material UI to build a professional looking web application. We will work with theme, animation, models, boxes and all goodies from Material UI. That's the first thing you will learn in this course. The second one is React Hook. You will learn how to use user state, user reducer to manage state in a single application using React framework. And the second thing which is very important in this course and we will focus on it is Context API to handle complex state between multiple components. That's what we want to learn in a real world application together. It's the modern React application. The backend part of this project is Node and MongoDB, but the focus of this course is on frontend. You know, 80% is frontend and 20% is backend. Also, for database, we're going to use MongoDB and we have two options using local MongoDB Community Edition or MongoDB Cloud on Atlas server. To connect to the database, we will use Mongoos as an ORM and at the end, we will host our web application on the internet using Heraco. I will teach you how to config your project to publish on the web, how to connect your Heraco to the cloud database like this. And at the end, you will have an application like this 
and you can add it to your portfolio make it your own by changing the style and changing the business of this project okay that's what we wanna build together and i will see you on the next lesson to implement this project from create react app command until next lesson bye bye